My name is Rick Callahan and I'm the Executive Director at Compass. Compass was based you know, on residential services. So five to six years ago, Compass created a, a program in the recognition of those towns, people start to recognize that, hey, there's some people that are really want to express themselves and do artistic type things. Previous Executive Director Andy Cole uh, reached out to a local artist, uh, and his name's Tim. We want everybody to be in the community. We want people to have a high quality life uh, and the public to recognize people who have talents, whether or not they have ability or disability. And so I'm, I'm Tim Moran. I'm our Compass Art Club director. Been here for about three years, doing art club every week. So our club is just sort of a, a space where we can get everybody at Compass together and work sort of on an art projects together. A big part of, of this program, I think, is, is because it's one of the activities where all of our individuals can get together in one place, that just, just that in itself, where they can all see each other and be with their friends and like you know, hang out a little bit, is really important as like a community building thing. So that's a big part of what I try and facilitate. But obviously the other part is we're working on art projects. We're working on paintings and drawings and clay projects and everything we can get our hands on just as uh, some enrichment, some, some fun activities, some learning. It's a good time. Sometimes we'll do pottery. Sometimes we'll work on painting. Sometimes we'll work on a big group project, something like that. I mean, a couple of these back here are big like group paintings where I just want to get everybody's hands on it. And, you know, we all work together. This past December, I was lucky enough to get accepted to a program in Finland. It was an artist residency program. I was gone for the month of December. I had, you know, I told everybody like, hey guys, I'm going away. We're gonna have to not have our club for a little bit. I'll be back. <laughs> so the last class before I left for Finland, Hong Tran, one of our individuals, who loves our club. So he comes up to me and just sort of grabs my arm and he's, he goes, Paint! No Finland! Paint! <laughs> so he's telling me not to leave! It was the sweetest thing I think that's ever happened to me in my life. It's Maria Rojas is um, one of our individuals who's just the, the most prolific coloring artist you, you've ever seen. The first time she came in, she brought in this huge, like, plastic bag full of things she had drawn and just was like, these are for you. She's someone I've been working with forever. Say was uh, nominated for at the employment breakfast and at the, for Prince George County Providers. We nominated Say and her art, and she was one of the winners. And she um, displayed her art, but also just you know let people know a little bit about her. Say's actually got an interview coming up to get some sort of individual studio space because she wants to be a, a professional artist. So we've been working on putting her portfolio together. We've been working on figure drawing, working on some technical drawing stuff. She's really advanced for like what we're doing here. Uh, but I mean, there's plenty of people who started with scribbles and are moving their way up to, you know, real good looking drawing. What is art? Art. Uh, fun. I'm just making art with my friends. Yeah. Oh, I love art because art is my favorite thing to do when I come here. It makes me feel happy. Do you enjoy coming here? Yes, because I have fun. My name is Sei Cho. I was from Maryland. So here I am now at um, a campus office to a uh, really uh, artistic um, to uh, professional. Three years ago, we bought a building in Mount Rainier, but there's been a design, there's been a vision called Innovations. And I think that that could be a place where the individuals can display their art for not just themselves and their family and friends, but the, the larger community. You know, you have people that are enjoying their art, expressing their art, and there's no disability. And that's what I think innovations will do. The day that happens is the day I think we've been very successful.